Hi there, it's Diane the Nursing Geek. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the day four and five combo for NaNoWriMo. Um, day four gets a really small recap because I got really small numbers. I only managed to write 805 words. It's kind of miraculous I managed to do that because the day was just... I think just all the days are going to be just. <laughs> but yesterday was particularly packed. Um, had an appointment before work and then, yeah. So I did manage to squeeze in 805 words, which still kept me above the NaNoWriMo minimum um, for day four, because I was still at 7,056. So well above the, um, what is it, 6,668 um, would be the official target if you're doing 1,667 words a day. Um, so today, I've already done my sprints. I'm just not even going to pretend that I'm recording this in order. Um, so let me cut away to both of those sprints and be right back. So some people have been having problems with the badges not loading when they um, earn them. And I've had them delayed in a couple of cases. But the rather different issue I have, which resulted in a badge issue, was when I made it to, I think it was 6251 words, and I went to add that in, now, I don't know if I hit something else, but I've always just left it to the default of total words. So I put in the words, I hit update, and instead of just bringing it up to the new amount, it added that. It added 6,000 words to what I already had. And I went back and I resubmitted it and fixed it, but in the meantime, I got awarded the 10,000 word badge, even though... I have not yet reached it because for a few seconds there it thought I did so yeah I it's just I know that they're working on it and you know anything new is gonna have bugs <laughs> um, but yeah so I I have sort of the opposite issue um, considering it's now day five and to stay on my original track I would need to get to 10,000 words Hopefully I will earn this badge that I already have by the end of the day. We'll see. So I've mentioned the Discord a couple of times. Um, and somebody had asked, uh, not in an open comment, but how the Sprint thing works. This Sprint bot I can take no credit for. It exists over on GitHub. Anybody with a Discord can um, adopt Sprinto. And in fact, I first met Sprinto on the weekend writing marathon. And um, when I'm writing at the same time as one of their scheduled sprints, I go over there because it's definitely more fun when there's more people um, and you're sort of racing each other. But uh, when I'm not using their um, official sprint times, then I come on over here. And this is how it works. You start by telling it, I'm going to sprint for, in this case, a half hour, starting at 10,000 words. And then give me until five minutes after the end to give you my final word count. Now, the thing I keep forgetting. And you would think I would know because I've been using Sprinto over on Weekend Writing Marathon for over a year, is that you, even though you start the sprint, you still have to join the sprint. So let me peek at my total word count again. 7,056. So, which is that. It's not always the result of my last sprint, though, so... With 7,056 words, I have a couple minutes to drink my tea and get ready before it gives me an alert to say that the 
spread test started at half past the hour. And I have a brand new section of this chapter to work on when that uh, comes time. So here's where things get interesting because I'm doing a rewrite so word counts can be tricky. Up till this point everything I've written has been new words but today I did have some stuff that I just brought over from the old document because it was fine. Um, so what I've done over here on my spreadsheet is, wait, what was my word count now? 8749. I've set this up so that it doesn't just subtract the starting count from the end count, but also deletes out the prior words. So I actually managed 637 words, not half bad. In order for this to work for Sprinto, then I would have to turn around and say, uh, come on. The amount that I put in plus what my spreadsheet is telling me my word count is 7693 is what I'm going to tell Sprinto. Not that it matters that this where it does matter is on the nano website. So since it's just me, it's not going to pull together, you know, it would if there were several of us pull together each of our word counts, but um, it does break down how much I typed per minute. Um, yeah. And this bit here, if, um, if I were to start another sprint and there had been other people in this sprint, it would ping them and say, hey, there's another sprint starting in such and such number of minutes. Um, if you want to join in for the next three until they either say forget me or it gets to be more than three. Um, anyway, so that's Sprinto. But now let's go over to the Nano website and this is the amount I'm going to have to put there. Total words. <laughs> Not adding 7,600 words. Okay. Um, that looks good. Let's see what my stats look like. So it's not giving me a percentage, which I thought it was supposed to do. Um, shows that I am now a little below where I should be. I should be at 83.35 today, but I've got plenty of time for that. I am not a fan of this because it never shows zero, so it always makes it look like you've written nothing, because it'll go to whatever your lowest word count is. This I like better because it actually has a zero, so these comparisons actually mean something. Um, at this rate, I'll finish on December 3rd. Da, 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 da. Um, yeah. I'm supposed to give me a percentage over here. Oh well, um, still in really decent shape, um, 792 words to get on the nano goal, and uh, 2,307 words to make it to my personal goal of hitting 10,000 today, because being the fifth at 2,000 words a day, that's where I would theoretically be. So I've decided that since my first time specific thing for work today is not until 11 o'clock and it's at uh, it, it's virtual, it's a web meeting, um, I'm going to squeeze in another sprint and then I'll have my meeting and then I'll physically drive out to the university for the rest of the stuff that I need to be there for today. Um, so to give myself time to get ready for that 11 o'clock meeting, I'm only going to sprint for 45 minutes. 
Um, got a couple of minutes before, so I'm just going to zen myself out with a little solitaire and then be ready to write. So I spent a little time making some adjustments to the spreadsheet here to make it easier to keep track of what words are actually going to count for nano and what word what number I should be putting into the nano website. Um, I'm going to use this column to keep a running total every time I paste some words in from the old document. Um, I'll just track them each time here and then sum it up in this column. So then when I'm deciding what I need to put in the nano website, I can just take my new word count minus all of this and I'll get my actual nano words. So that's where I am right now, 8569. Um, for Sprinto, I'm going to go with this, even though that's going to be kind of inflated. Yeah, because that includes the additional 71 words that um, that I pasted in, but that's okay. Now I'll go put the true new word number 8569 on the nano website. Okay, so still have quite a few words that I need for today, but that's all right. I am, where am I in relation to the, I'm above the nano goal for today, not by much, but a little, so that's good. And this is looking a little less sad. Still have a ways to go, but I've got my meeting coming up shortly, so I'm going to go get ready for that. And um, yeah, I finally figured out where I'm supposed to add in stuff for, for these pieces. So I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, when you go in here, if you show more options, that's where you can add things like, yeah, okay, it went well. I was at home. I was on my laptop, and then I can't really scroll down any further, I don't think. Let me get out of the menu. Can I? No. See, that makes the page move, but not this. So I think there's more down there. Um, see if that and then hide the options so I can actually update so yeah currently at 8569 words so getting there um, about 1500 to make it to 10,000 which would be my ideal for today because that would mean it's still averaged out to 2000 words a day and I would feel caught up. So let's hope. Um, I do have a number of things going on today. I was able to get a somewhat later start than I had expected for work because it turned out my meeting this morning was online, so I was able to do that from home. So I squeezed in two sprints before that. Now, however, I need to get myself to work, and it's going to be a pretty busy day. And it includes a meeting off-site um, in the early evening. So I may be cutting back just before midnight again. But if I am, hopefully it's to say that I have made it to 10,000 words. Okay, so I'm home. I've had my work day. I went to my meetings. I got zero writing done at any point. The one point in time during the day where I could theoretically have had time to write, 
I ended up writing a blog post, which I'll link below, because why not? But um, not what I meant to be doing with that time. Um, so I still have about five, not 500, <laughs> I wish, 1500 words to write, and it is just going on 9.30 p.m. Anywho, so time for me to jump on the computer and start writing. Okay, so I'm calling it for tonight. I did not make it to 10,000 words, but as far as I can tell, it's 9,266 words. Um, I'm, I'm going with that for now, which leads to the topic I had written down for today, and I don't know how much I'm going to have the energy to say about it, um, which is revision versus rewriting. So to me, revision, at the, at the technical level, I'm working within the same document, and I'm going through and I'm changing things. That, to me, is revision. Rewriting is I am changing so much of it that I'm starting with a whole new document and just most of what I'm doing is rewriting. I might copy paste a few chunks over from the old document, um, and I have, which as you've seen is what's making the word count piece really um, confusing. I'm not too worried about that. I want to be as accurate as I can because I do actually want to write 50,000 new words. That said, I already have Scrivener. I already have Scapple. I'm not going to use any of the other discounts um, because there's not any other ones that I would really be interested in. Anyway, so I'm not going to obsess over having the word count right, because um, really, for being a nano rebel, I probably shouldn't consider that I would qualify for that anyway. Um, yeah, so that's going around in circles. I went from revision versus rewriting in the general sense to exactly what's going on in nano for me. Yeah. <sighs> Tired. Um, so the, the difference is really how much you're changing, I think. And that's why this is a rewrite. I almost... I can understand now the concept of a zero draft. That phrase has never made any sense to me because you, you spit out words that that's a draft. It's, it's not as, it's not nothing. So it's not a zero. And I'm not sure I'm quite ready to embrace that term for what I did in April, but it was definitely a pants, just see what I can get out there draft that is now being just massively rewritten, not just revising to tighten up here or maybe, um, yeah, no, completely ditching characters, bringing in new characters and changing the roles that certain characters have. It, it's a rewrite. It, there's way too much that's changing to just call it a revision. So, I'm not sure I really want to call it a second draft. I don't know. What is it? Version 1.5? <laughs> Maybe. I'm not sure how much that matters. It's the second go around. And it, as much as right now it feels like pulling teeth, I think that's more to do with my own exhaustion from how many things all seem to be happening at the beginning of November. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? This never happens. But this year it does. <clears throat> so I have a feeling it's the exhaustion piece more so than the story, because when I can really get into the story, it feels like it's flowing a lot better. And hopefully that's not just because it's familiar, because um, it really did feel like something wasn't working in April, really kind of from the get-go, and I don't have that feeling now, so...
that's a good thing. And my words for the day um, were over 2,000. So even though I didn't make it all the way to 10,000 to catch up for the words that I didn't get yesterday, I wrote enough more that I'm only like 700 and change short of 10,000 words, which means I should be able to make that up tomorrow. Or at least let's hope so. Um, yeah, I'm going to call it because <laughs> I'm about to fall asleep right here and I don't want to do that on camera. I mean, at least I'm not live, but still, yeah. Um, it would just kill the battery of my phone and then I wouldn't have an alarm going off in the morning for the 6 a.m. webinar that I apparently signed up for. Who runs a webinar at 6 a.m.? That's 6 a.m. Eastern, which means anybody in California who wants to do this webinar, it's 3 a.m.? I gotta recheck that. That just doesn't make sense. Um, of course, at least at 6 a.m. I can do it because at 6 p.m. I'm going to be supervising a flu clinic. So, yeah. <clears throat> and it is a webinar I really need to do. All during the first week of NaNo. It all has to hit at once. Of course it does. <laughs> um... The other topic, since I combined day four and five, would have been incident, uh, inciting incidents and key incidents. That's not happening tonight. I will push that to tomorrow when hopefully I can brain a little better. Now that I'm thinking about what tomorrow looks like, that's unlikely, but it is what it is. So until next time, happy writing, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you. Bye.